we don't like poker, we love it. It's the game everyone's talking about, everyone's playing. You don't want to miss out on the poker phenomenon. Last time out, an internet qualifier who's only been playing for one year shocked some poker giants. Tonight, we have some of the biggest names in the game playing in what's sure to be a cracker. Welcome to the PartyPoker.net European Open. We're well into the heat stages now and it's really hotting up. I'm here with actor and poker player extraordinaire, Michael Greco. Michael, everyone wants to talk about bluffing today. Mm. What do you know about it? In order to win tournaments, you have to bluff. You have to win with the worst hand. You have to win with the worst hand. There's no, every good, amazing, aggressive poker player has a great way of bluffing. So take this specific tournament, six players, when is the best time to start bluffing? When, when it gets to be less number of players or? The best time to start bluffing is any time. But especially when the blinds start getting quite high. And the best place to start bluffing is actually on the button. Because position is everything. Well, someone who knows a lot about bluffing, former world champion Phil Helmuth, he claims he can see into the souls of the opposition. Let's get some tips from him. So you want to make a big bluff? It's not just betting every single hand. It's not just recklessness that creates a bluff. What creates a great bluff is setting it up. And table, table image has something to do with that. So you wait. You play a good patient game, you wait until the time is right, until your opponents are weak, and then you make that great bluff. But you don't give it away, you don't start talking, you don't do anything differently than when you bet your strong hands. You want to put in the chips the same way you did the last time your opponent saw you with a strong hand. You want to make the same comments, you want to put your head in your hands the same way, make sure everything matches, because when you act the same way you did with a strong hand, the instincts of the other players say he has a strong hand. A bluff takes timing. Well, Michael, Phil brings up a great point there. I mean, what do you do when you get caught bluffing? Uh, just keep bluffing. Just keep doing the same. Just, uh, if you're a bluffer and you like to bluff, great. That's, that's the way the people play. You get caught bluffing, you get caught bluffing. Next time, you might have the absolute nuts and people will call you. Just like keep the same actions, the same physicality. I love studying people's body language and being an actor, I suppose I have that advantage. So I like to recreate what I was doing in the hand before anyway. But we've plenty of bluffing going on tonight, I'm sure, especially with some of the top names in the business in there. So let's just have a look at who's playing, who's sitting where, and what's on tap this evening. That's the lineup. Should be exciting. And we're lucky to be joined by one of the hot favorites tonight, Dave Colcloth. Dave, we've been talking about bluffing. And just how important is bluffing in one of these six-seater events? Um, well, obviously, bluffing is uh, very important. Um, you're just not going to be dealt enough hands, uh, quality hands, that is, to, um, to win one of these uh, events purely on, the, on those. So you have to play a lot of substandard hands. and. Um, basically have to bet without the goods all the time. Some very weekends and um, should be interesting really. How's your, uh, your form at the moment Dave? Confident? Well I, I, I made a final in uh, Amsterdam two days ago so hopefully uh, we're just crawling out of a rocky patch. Somehow I'm still top of the rankings and I don't really know how that happened so <laughs> uh, I'm not doing too bad out in the live arena but of course my TV form is dreadful. I, I, can't, <laughs> <laughs> I think I, will, I last won a TV event in like uh, 1969 or something on black and white TV. <laughs> The lights are dimmed. The table is set. Join us in a minute as the action gets underway here on the PartyPoker.net European Open. Hey. 
Welcome back. Everything's ready. Michael Greco and myself will be guiding you through the action. Let's join the table. And uh, of course, uh, this could be a very chatty <laughs> table because <laughs> I mean, his name's it. Mark Goodwin and himself have been playing poker together in the, the same home game for about 15, 20 years. And uh, Paul Jackson, also very well known in the Midlands area. Pass. Folded around here to the button. How much? Raise. Gives you a chance. 6,000. 6,000 total. I'm not going to predict what this guy will do. Wow, the Mad Turk, fifth place in uh, the Irish Open only last year, and uh, that is a tough tournament, as you well know, Michael. You were a final tableist in Dublin just uh, very recently. Yeah, just a couple of weeks ago. It's a tough tournament. Oh my! Wow. Kolkov all in. He's got the same hand. This is only the second hand of the tournament. He's just raised about ninety thousand. Wow. Oh, it's really got a big like decision here, Ashley. He's thinking, right, I'm in bad shape if I'm against kings or aces. Would Dave go all in with kings or aces at this early stage? Producers go in. Pass, pass, we need Dave in the show. <laughs> <laughs> what a massive statement of intent from Dave Colcloth. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, Ashley Hales hasn't invested very much. Could you see him calling this? <sighs> I really don't know. I don't know how he can call this. I mean, he's got, he's got to deduce. He's got to think, right, if, if he's got aces, kings, or queens, possibly, then he's in not great shape, obviously. But would Dave stick all his chips in if he had aces, kings, or queens? I don't think he would. Yeah, he's got, he's got a call. He's going to be relieved when he sees ace, king, as well. <laughs> yeah, you have to call Talk him. about action. Over the top with a massive bet. And uh, if we end up losing a player here, Michael Greco, it's just going to be <laughs> tremendous unluck. Only yeah. four of a suit on board. But, uh, I mean, oh, well, there's two there's hearts. hearts. That's an advantage, Dave Colclaw. Yeah. It's a free roll if it comes hard heart. If there's no heart on this card, next card is a chop chop. Here's the turn. No, chop it up. It's <laughs> over. It will chop. But uh, one thing we have learned wow. <laughs> from uh, from Matt Pot is that uh, no one has come here uh, for for to eke their way into third place. You'd have trouble putting a tougher televised table together. Uh, I don't think anyone would want to jump in here with their cash money. But, uh, it's going to be bang 'em, knock 'em, sock 'em, and this is Andy yes. Holiday folding up. 2,000 to call. <laughs> Ashley Hales has his oh. chips so close to the line, you feel like he's ready to get them in at any oh. occasion. He's just limped in with his nines, hoping for someone to raise and then possibly re-raise. Well, this game's feeling very loose, four-handed now, and that is uh, Action Jack's hand in the big blind. Dave Colcloth in with a 10-6 suit. It, uh, all kinds of possibilities out there. <laughs> Pair of nines are looking good, aren't they? They are at this juncture. But not no more. Three sixes for Dave Colcloth. He could bang heads with Ashley Hales right here. Right. Oops. And, uh, Michael Greco, is this one of those situations where uh, Ashley Hales could rue not raising with the nines before the flop? Quite possibly, yeah. He's going to find himself up against a re-race here with, with Dave. Call. Oh, it's just flat called. Pass. So Colcloth Pass. slow playing this. Anything but a nine, and he's in beautiful shape. Yeah. I don't know if the warning bells are ringing in Ashley Hales' head. I'll rise again. The question is, obviously, 12, Dave Colcloth would love to represent the eight. Does, does Dave know he's best? I think he does, yeah. I'm sure he knows he's best. 32,000 in the pot, and the bet is 12. Is it time for a raise? I think it's time for a raise, yeah. Call. Well, he's just, like just calling. called. He's going to let Ashley Hales try and hang himself. River card, anything but a nine, and the sixes are good. Another 12. 12,000. And obviously, Dave Colcloth, he's not, well, he's not going to fold, but... Now he's going to rise. 
raised. It's a minimum raise, I think, 24,000. No, 20,000 more. Call. Call. Okay. Another 14, yeah? Another yeah. 14. And Dave Colcloth is stamping his authority on this game, 10-6 suited. Not a hand in any book, Michael Greco, but it has just won El Blondie, a 96,000 pot. Well, that pot has got us in a hell of a lot of trouble. If he'd have raised with his nines pre-flop, I'm sure Dave wouldn't have called with his 10-6. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so lucky. What was I was born lucky. <laughs> born lucky, says Dave Goldfuss. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check out the ranking of hands. Each five-card poker hand falls into the official ranking of poker hands. Bottom of the ladder is high card only. A pair just above that, and two pair is higher still. Three of a kind is three of a number, a straight. Five cards in a row of any suit. A flush is five cards of the same suit in any order. Full house, three of a kind plus a pair. Four of a kind is self-explanatory, and a straight flush is five cards all in a row of the same suit. Royal flush is top of the pops. That's a straight flush, ace high. Okay. I imagine that if Dave Colcloth decides to tighten up, he can be tighter okay. than a rock in a hard place. But uh, right now, first level, he seems to be firing with all guns. I'll tell you what, if you let him get away and let him build up a load of chips, he's going to be a hard man to be. <coughs> Fold. Raised to 4,000 total. And uh, O'Clock playing like he's got a train to catch. Mark Goodwin calling as well. And uh, now Action Jackson. Ah. Well, I'm going to see a raise here. Then. Three raise, 10,000 yeah. more, 14 total. Pass. That may just wrap Pass. this hand up. Although Cole Cloth. Cole. Well, he has the kind of hand he wants to see a flop. He, he can get in trouble with this, can't he? Has Mark called as well, Mark Goodwin? I'm not sure if he's called or not. It is. It's three way. There's 35,000 in here. And uh, the pocket pair against the two suited connectors. I mean, you'd think they were playing for candy floss here, but it is a $360,000 tournament. 45,000 in the middle. That's a great flop. What a flop. We're gonna, we've got overcards, we've got a flush draw, we've got a two pair. Well, I mean, let's let just. Uh, Dave Colcloth has a straight flush draw. Check. And now, now full house. Mark Goodwin has a 8, full house. It's been checked yeah. around. Checked on the end of the turn. Now. Looks like Paul Jackson is stuck in a bet of 8,000. And Dave Colcloth is in a bit of trouble here. He might have loved his hand on the flop. But now with only one card to come, little does he know he's drawing dead to one card in the deck. Whatever Dave here does here, I think Mark will obviously just flat call. He knows he's won this hand already. He knows he can't be beaten. So he needs to, he's thinking, right, how do I extract the maximum amount of money out of these two guys? It's all happened so fast. Dave Colcloth. They might be wondering what Paul Jackson has. Why don't they kill you? But Mark Goodwin is the one who's sitting with the nuts. It's such a lovely position to be in, isn't it, Mark? Yeah. He sat there with yeah. the best hand by far, and he's just thinking, OK, come on, Dave, stick in a, stick in a bit of dosh, and let me just flat call you. Cool. Bit of cool. acting maybe coming up from Mark here, just kind of... Thinking, okay, well, what should I do now? Uh, well, what should Mark do? Just flat call. Raise. Uh. <coughs> this is an unbelievable hand. 25,000 more. 40, and Paul Jackson, seconds. who probably made a great check on the flop, now in a very interesting situation here. It was almost like a reverse bluff. He has to think that it's very hard for the other players to put him on two queens. Or yeah, what do you do? What do you do? You've got a an overpair. You've got to then think, okay, what have they got? What is Dave betting with, and what is Mark raising with? This is, a, I mean, this is this is not the kind of situation that Paul Jackson expected to find himself in on hand number six. It's very hard for for Paul to get away from this. It really is. He's got to think, okay, has he got a straight? You know, seven, eight, six. And then eight, has he got trip eights? Has he got a straight? The raise is 25,000, and Jackson has about 
He'll have about 60,000. He's got about 75,000 in front of him right now. I think the only thing that could entice a bet here is uh, he's getting good odds. 25 grand in for he's getting four to one his money. But does he really? He might think he's beaten, that he might be drawing dead. Paul Jackson's decision right now. You know, if Mark had just flat called uh, Dave Colclough, I would have, I would have, ninety-nine percent sure we would have seen a raise from from Paul. And then Colclough would have have to fold it or called, and then Mark could have then re-raised then. But uh, seconds before. as it is, he might not get any more action after this. I just can't see Paul uh, calling this. Tournament director Mad Marty Wilson has put Jackson on the clock. He has twenty seconds to make up his mind, or his hand is dead. He's got to think he's losing. He's got to think that he's losing to either trip eights or to a or already made straight, at least. Mm. Five, four. Yeah, that's, good fold. That's a great fold. It takes a good, like I said, it takes a good player to put a good hand down. This is going to make me look what I pass. I can't wait to this one, Tyler. Sorry? I can't wait to this one, Tyler. I'm going to look very good or very bad. If you'd have bet the flop, we'd have put the whole lot in, you know. Huh? Yeah, I mean, Cole Cloth doesn't know how right he is. Dave might have been willing to go all the way on the flop, but with the turn, it's completely different. I could have put it all in on the flop, but I can't now. Pass. Go on, show us the last card. Be good for T. What a fantastic hand. Yeah. Requested to see. I mean, pass. I mean, Mark Goodwin done very well to win this pot. Forget it. <laughs> Well, Mark Goodwin's taking the lead now with 139,000. He's uh, he played one and won one. Uh, second Dave Colcraft, 111, all the way down to Ashley Hales. Unfortunately, he's on 60,000, but the blinds are still very low, so no need to panic. This heat could be over in at least an hour. Assuming you're the same. Yeah. I've took on mine, yes. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Probably a little bit. Mark Goodwin in the big blind. Pass. And Action Jack settling down. Pass. Mm. Oh. Hale's in a situation where his Cold. chips are starting to Cold. bleed away. Cold. Let's see the flop. Uh, chip flop. If you put some more chips in, That's cold cloth from the small oh, blind. And Mark Goodwin from the big blind says no Raised cheap 5, flops. Total. No limpers allowed. You want to see the flop? All in. Oh. Wow. <laughs> How strong was that? Very strong. Two fives. Very strong. It's a great move. It's a great move. <sighs> Take that. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, Mark Goodwin. How long have we been playing? 15 minutes? <laughs> Why does that matter? Yeah, because I've been not long enough on the TV yet. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> 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 Well, I think the bad Turk's just doing a bit of showboat. He's not calling with an eight. No. He's loving it, isn't he? He's loving the TV coverage. Just wants a little bit more air time and then he'll fold. Of course, in the middle of this, Ashley Hale's not looking any too comfortable. He's sitting there with all his chips in the middle and only a pocket pair of fives. You called that after call. Yeah. What's good one thinking? Do you think he might call this? No, I don't think he'll call it. Oh, you've got a real one. Yeah. I don't, he, he's seen Ashley go all, call the all-in with the ace-king earlier. He's got to think his ace-jack is uh, is losing, surely. I don't think he'll call. I mean, Ashley limped and now re-raised it. It smacks of a huge hand, doesn't it? it? Yeah. That's nearly as much as you had of me and Dave. Didn't matter. Trying to see if I'm still in, if I get it wrong. Goodwin, known for good decision making. He's no mug. It'll be a great call if he does call. But I just don't think he's gonna put he's not committed, is he? He's only put a few thousand in, so Yeah, cool. Oh, he's called. Wow. Oh, cool. It's a great call. He will not be back wow. down. Mark Goodwin backing his instincts to the hilt. And Ace Jack is a 50-50 spot against the two fives. Ashley Hales, not happy. He's That's all in. Clean. Needs the pocket pair to hold you know, up. You look stupid saying you're a rock, aren't you? That was the, <laughs> that was the idea. <laughs> Jeez. Our He's first stupid. all in. Mark Goodwin sending a huge message here. And there's the oh, jack. He's hit the jack. It's curtains for Ashley. He needs to hit a five. Well, we saw a five go down. Dave Colcloth folded one. There's only one five in the deck. 
He's got one card in the whole of the deck to save him, and it's not that. We could have our first walker here. I told you this heat could be over in an hour. We could have our first casualty. Here's the river card. Is it a five? It is not. not. Hard luck, Ashley. And Ashley Hales is good night, Saigon. Down to five players. It was a great call by Mark. I didn't think he'd make the call. I thought Cheers, another 41,000 was too much. Cheers, He's made the call. That last hand, Hales put Goon in the tough spot, but he called, hit the jack, knocked out the two fives, and vacuum cleaner. See you later. Quick as a wink, and then there were five. Jackson's in pain. Is it the internet man? Or Klinechli's El Blondi Colclough, the Mad Turk, has got something to say about the proceedings. Well, Mark Goodwin has got a massive chip lead now. It's 198,000. You sell second with 118. And we're down to Andrew Holiday, who still hasn't played a hand on 89,000. All to play for. So this game you has everything so nothing. far. You did. <laughs> so that's what I do with you. I'm so glad I'm sat here and not sat uh, there. Uh, I'll tell you what. Any, anyone out there at home with aspirations of becoming a professional poker player, this should deter you. <laughs> and still we don't see a hand from Andrew Holiday. <laughs> Well, you can't blame them. You can't, you can't blame them, can you? you just got to sit back and just admire these guys playing. <laughs> Three way here. A lot of limp ins before the flop. Uh, Andrew Holiday in the big blind for free. And it's come two, four, five. That might be enough for Paul Jackson to get deeply involved. Top pair and the straight draw. Yeah, Brian's been going around saying that. Like I've been teaching him. What's really been happening is Brian's been teaching us. And now we're all turning into lunatics. Turn card for free. And uh, that's put a wrinkle in the works here. Yeah, he comes like that card. Oh. There's a flush draw yeah. now out there for Dave Colclaw. He wouldn't have checked twice. That's for absolutely mm -hmm. wouldn't have got away with this flush. Wow, Dave's right. checked it twice. But by the same token, and if the diamond comes, this. Paul Jackson will be Top thinking two. that he may have checked oh. one too many times. Well, especially if it's a diamond that makes it straight. There could be uh, all sorts of possibilities here. Three checks and you're out, though. Check it again, I'm going to bet. Here's the river card and Colcloth setting up the flush. Oh, oh gosh. It, exactly. It's made his straight, but it's made uh, it's made Dave's flush. Well, I mean, uh, I've seen Paul Jackson play on TV a couple times, Michael. He's had horrible luck, and uh, it seems to only be continuing. Pocket queens down the chute. Flush draw down the chute. Made straight on the river. And it's Sai Anara. <laughs> wow, he folded! Yeah, great fold. <laughs> he folded a straight! Great fold. My name's Paul Jackson. My alias online is Action Jack, and my occupation is poker player. I probably played quite tight early on, um, but as soon as the ante start getting up, I'm going to start moving. I'm going to play a lot more aggressive than I normally do. Because, as I said before, I keep doing badly in these TV tournaments, and I want to at least go out looking good, if not uh, playing good. I'll find you back. The only one. <laughs> now, I've folded it plenty of time. Some of them folding moves. Oh. Call for the Mad Turk for 4,000, and Ace Jack has got the King Jack wrapped up. This, a, this could go down as a look like a button still, but it's got a legitimate hand. Now we're going to see a call or a re-raise from you, Soho. 13,000 is the race. It's it's a pretty big pot here. Oh, no. Yeah. Could be a re-raise here. <laughs> oh, He's got all in. I, I thought he was going to do something like this. That's why I said, could we see a call or a re-raise? Yeah, you I did. didn't think he'd fold it. I just, I just didn't think he would fold. Well, well, can't more than you. You cannot you predict what this guy's going to do. I'd like you to count it, please. <laughs> well, this—how many chips he's got? What percentage he's putting? This is 
a huge decision for Dave Colclough, and he is a person who is known for great decisions. I mean, the ace jack can either be way behind. In this case, it's way ahead. Oh, he's way ahead. He would call, like, in a nanomillisecond if he knew what... Uh, you sell hard, but obviously got to deduce what he's got. 40, 80, 130, 150, 152 total. Has he got a small pair, so have I got two over cards, or is he...? <coughs> Interestingly enough, the last major tournament Dave Colcloth played in Dublin, he was chip leader, massive chip leader at the final table. He got re-raised with an ace-jack, and he called, only to find the player had ace-eight, and then... Uh, of course, the rest is history. Dave oh, yeah. came forth. I was there. <laughs> yeah, I was there. In two or three hands, he'd lost all his chips because he got outdrawn three times where he was a massive favourite. And this time, he's a big favourite. It'd be one hell of a call if he calls this. Well, he'd be a massive, massive favourite as he has the King Jack dominated. But how many chips will he have if he folds here? He'll have about 80,000 if he folds. If he calls and wins, he'll have about... Looks like he's... He'd have called. No. He's folded. He's folded. He's, he's folded. Won. The Mad Turk <laughs> has done it. He's taken Dave off the hand. Colcloth says, live to fight another day. Yeah. I'll move it back on this thing. <clears throat> and uh, well judged by the Turk. Well judged. Great play. That's his style of play. I've never seen him before, but uh, I'm reliably informed that's the way he plays. He has just put tremendous pressure on Dave Colcloth with a hand some would call junk. And that's why he's stacking the chips and is very close to the chip lead. Okay, show, us the pink. show us how pink it really is. Dice, lucky dice. Are they got anything to do with poker? Can't take your shirt off if you haven't ironed it. Fold. Thank you. Big hand for Cole. Yeah, that's a good-looking hand. Raised eight more. Twelve total. Ooh. Twelve total. 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 Twelve I can see an all in here from Dave Colcloth. The, the, the re raise is 40,000. It may, it may cool. actually be all of Colcloth's chips. Yeah. Cool. And uh, Dave Colcloth, he waited for a better opportunity. He's found one ace king versus ace queen. And with a huge chance to double up now. He's in dire straits here, Mark. Ace queen is one of those hands that you can really lose a lot of chips over. So the only good news for Mark Goodwin is that uh, he'll still have about 130,000 if he loses this hand. Yeah. But uh, losing it is what's going to happen unless a lady pops. And that's changed nothing. No chances of split pots either. No, that king is going to play at all times. If, unless it comes running threes or running sevens. Now, actually, a seven would split the pot. Yep. A queen or will win it for ace. Mark Goodwin. Or another ace. Or another seven. seven. A seven, an ace, or a queen for Mark? No. And by the narrowest of margins, but an inch as good as a mile in poker, Dave Colcloth, I do believe, has just taken the chip lead. What a roller coaster ride he's had to get there. The beeping in the background, meaning this is the last hand of the level. And, uh. Great timing. Great timing. Yeah, you're right, Jesse. Dave Colcloth narrowly takes the lead, 176,000. You sell just behind 172,000. Mark Goodwin on 125. Andrew Holiday on 97,000. And Paul Jackson is hanging on by the skin of his teeth on 30,000. Historically, he was like one free events at the uh, Master Classics. Uh, Jan Sorensen Hansen, who's won two uh, bracelets. And then set qualifier, who won it. Oh, I have to show you first. Yeah, if you just yeah. quickly yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. Just make sure you don't call them. Yeah. <laughs> This time, Paul. Uh, this time, Paul. It's like torture, isn't it? Colcloth just limping in with the two threes. You could actually go around I could, I could, two rounds. Yeah, we could go around another one. We're going to get some air time from a new dumper, jumper. Maybe you could play. You could <laughs> sneak well, it. Well, no, he's not going to raise because you've limped, so can, at least I see the flop for three grand. So I can Looks like he's got a big hand to me. Oh, yeah, but, yeah. yeah, I've been thinking about it with this left one. 
he's hoping to get a sponsorship I, I deal. It's pretty Wolfram grim, but uh, I mean, <laughs> Paul does have a legitimate decision here. Does he want to uh, try and isolate you Dave Colclaw? Does he want to fold? Does he want to call? What's the right move? Maybe, yes, yeah, stick the three grand in, see a flop. If he misses, he can fold. Okay, <laughs> Jake, I've never missed. I'll just pass. That's right. That's exactly what he's saying. He's getting good odds. Now, Andy has an ace and has been talked into putting the money in. That's not what Paul wanted to see, unfortunately. No. And the terrible thing is he's dominated here. This is a horrible situation. He was better off with the nine deuce. He was. Oh, he's, got a, he's stuck it all in. He's in bad shape here. I'm just happy he's got Ice King. I just hope he's got Ice King. Yeah. yeah he's got one of your outs. This is a disaster for Action Jack. Yeah. The six is no good. He needs to hook the flop here. I had nine days now. Don't go putting any freeze on that flop, else I'll be mighty upset. I passed the best hand again. It's ridiculous. People are walking okay, all over. Uh, right. Action Jack, all in. Will he get a spot of luck? Or is it up to Andy? No, he hasn't. No, Ace High is is winning. Only three cards in the deck to oh, save Paul now. It was, it was a good, five, good fun to have him, you know. Just he needs a shot. Jack. Just knew that three was you have three, eh? No help there. Two up, man. Yeah. That's it. One card to come. Three jacks in the deck, and that is all that is standing between this man in elimination. No. Good luck. Cheers, All over. Hold up, Paul. Never really got going, did he? <laughs> Never really got going. <laughs> Every time he picked up a hand, he got smacked. Action Jack mathematically committed at the end. He was dominated. Hated to see it and could not catch. Pair of fours with the ace. Beating a pair of fours with the king jack in the end. I don't normally fold my hand if someone goes all in on me. This is becoming oh, quite a matchup, these two on right, the end here. Play. And uh, oh, well, they've they played together okay. before. Well, I, I would like well, to figure well, that they're well, going to well, clash well, with well, a massive well, pot at okay, some well, point. Yeah. Well, no, you should raise it. I've been blind. <laughs> The verbal's getting Four. lethal. Raise total. He likes to see flops, doesn't he, Dave? Four. It's nine deuce versus the five six. <laughs> There's been a raise and a call. These guys don't need to look at cards. No, they, they like don't need. To, yeah. They like to play. They like to see flops. Well, <clears throat> that's not helped anybody. Well, it's a massive hand for the nine high. Call cloth's way okay. ahead here. When else with a nine deuce could you have no pair and your opponent drawing? To, what's a big bet to six cards? Twenty-five thousand. Yeah, he was nice. he was the aggressive pre-flop, so he's got to continue with that. It's a good bet. What have I done? I've created a monster. Those words are true. Cold cloth has now taken the chip lead on his own. Put a head in front, 192,000, inching towards a third of the chips in play. But, uh, I mean, there is still is a relatively tight between the four. Andy Holiday, who's in fourth, is uh, still only a double through away from the chip lead. Exactly. They're all on over 100,000, so no one's really short stacked. So no one really has to panic now. Until the blinds start getting higher, there's, there's no panic. Mark Goodwin's big blind, Holiday under the gun. And uh, Andy Holiday doesn't Pass. think as much of the 6-5 as Yusuf did. Cool. You know I had rubbish. Huh? I'm not. Oh. That's the second time Kolkloff has been very careful okay. with the ace no against Goodwin's big blind. Last time he let Mark Goodwin bluff him out. No help for anybody there. Check. Okay. Check. Both checked. Card for free. Eight would eight. make yeah a straight. Yeah, I was gonna say eight of diamonds would have been very uh, interesting, but um. Six thousand. <laughs> as soon as Dave Colcloth has gone behind, he's put the bet in. Called. Quickly called. And now it's an eight or a queen or an ace. Are Colcloth's only outs? Well, that's no good. I think Mark check. will probably just check this. No, well, he's reaching for his chips. 10,000. 
Dave's having to think. Well, there's there's nothing he can beat. Is he thinking about a bluff? Pass. I thought Mark would have just shut that down, really, because it was quite, you know, Dave has been banging into it, so uh, just take the pot there and then. It, w it was quite hard to imagine what Dave Colcloth could call with. Uh, exactly, yeah. That, 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 that didn't beat him. But uh, Mark Goodwin knows better than us, I guess. And uh, he's, he's played with Dave Colcloth quite a bit more, hasn't he? Yeah. He's... Uh, So Colcloth has tried trapping with the ace from the small blind twice, and now both times it's backfired a bit on him. Yeah, it's been outdrawn. New hand, new cards. The deep, dark sunglasses of the Mad Turk. You saw Amina Glue yes. from the Midlands. <coughs> Who has quite a following around those parts. And, uh understand why. What a style he's got. <laughs> Looks a little bit crooked there. Raise. Raise. 10,000 more, 16 total. 10 to call. And now that Paul Jackson has left, uh, call. Mark Goodwin has Andy Holiday on his left, and Andy Holiday will not be bullied. No, unless a good call from Andy. He's going to show he's no pushover. Good one. Way out of line with the 8-4. Although they both have missed. Will he represent the... Did he say all in? No. I think Mark's got to represent the ace here. He's the, he's the pre-flop aggressor, so... 20,000. It's a good bet. Should be enough to see him off. Pass. Well, bluffing once is one thing. You bluff twice, you win. And uh, Mark Goodwin making the eight high. None of these players <laughs> have, have seemed to require cards to win. They, uh, they're playing a very different game. We talked about bluffing a lot before the program started and um, before this tournament started, and it's just very indicative in this game that a lot of bluffing has gone on. It's, uh, you can't wait to no, sit back and wait to get premium hands, or they're just not going to come, especially four-handed. Come back, Paul. Paul is forgiven. <laughs> it is funny, the table has gotten quiet since Paul Jackson left, and the amazing thing is uh, Paul Jackson, known as an internet player, <laughs> but he was, the, he was the catalyst for the conversation at the table. <laughs> Actually, Paul Jackson, he was... Raise. The 16,000 total. Pass. That's a big raise, 6 plus 10. So capable of the, the all oh, re raise. Yeah. Re raise. <laughs> he's amazing, isn't he? Yeah. 20,000 more, 36 total. 20 to call. He's, uh, he's almost priced in here, Mark, isn't he? Don't you think? <laughs> I don't know what to think. The way Mark has got his hand on those chips, he may be moving with them. <laughs> oh, it's, it's uh, King Jack, I mean. It's... Pass. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's incredible because Yusuf hasn't shown any of his cards, has he? So they're thinking this guy, if they've never played with him before, they're thinking this guy, he's getting premium hands all the time. He's hes, he's raising with good cards. I mean, not only does he have an aggressive style, but his timing has been so spot on. Immaculate, Jesse. It's, it's like he's got a seventh sense. Forget number six. Puts those glasses on, and it's like the 3D vision just comes into play. Popeye with his spinach, useful with his dark glasses. Mm. Wow! <laughs> I, I mean, a king queen must have <laughs> must have broken Mark That's Goodwin in an earlier life. It, it, <laughs> I'll tell you what. That's twice he's found right, a king there's, queen. There's, there's no other explanation for it. He, 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 he'll play King Jack like it's a. <laughs> Like it's three aces, but <coughs> the right. king queen, he's faulted twice under the gun. Yeah, it's amazing. He must have had some bad experiences with king queen. He just must have had some premonition or something. He must have lost his first wife with his hand or something. <laughs> I think he'd be raising if he had that hand and lost his This is an interesting hand here. Raise from Usul with the ace deuce in the small blind. Quick call, cold cloth with the ace three. Most of these 
Well, I was going to say most of these are split pots, but now they've both got something. Well, yusuf has got a uh, bottom pair, and Dave's got a straight draw. And this pot, 38,000. And uh, Yusuf's having a deep, dark think about this. How much does he want to bet? 26,000. It's a big bet. <laughs> and then this is one of those hands where there's no rule book for you. I mean, you could see Cole Cloth doing anything with it, couldn't you? That's right. He could be. He could do anything here. He could. Obviously, he's got three options raising, calling, or folding. Call. Decided to just call. And that can't make Yusel happy. He's in a very no. strong position, but little does he know. Well, well, that has made him very, very <coughs> strong. All in. That's a great, great card. <laughs> is Kolkov capable of calling here? No, I don't think so. It's a huge bet. It's a huge bet. There's absolutely no way. He's, remember, he still hasn't shown any cards. So there's, there's absolutely no way Dave's going to call this. It's a great bet by Yusuf. There's enough money in the middle there. He wants to take One, a pot three, three. here and now. These two have been brewing a cup of very strong coffee for some time, and uh, Yusuf first in with the wake-up call. Has. And has drawn blood. Y it's, it's a, uh, you can only wonder what would have happened if the deuce hadn't have come. Was Cole Cloth setting up a, a, a bluff raise on the turn? Quite no, possibly. No. Maybe he was hoping to hit the straight or another heart on the turn. He'll have the match cross draw. Oh, what what would Yusuf have, have done? Would he have gone in if the deuce the hadn't have come? It's, it's, it's fantastic stuff it's between great. these guys. It's great between these two. It really is. <laughs> what a great heads up battle this Mark would be. The that was twos, you know? twos and tens. <laughs>
15,000 more, 21 total. Pass. Cole Claus, chips have reached a, uh, a position here, uh, Michael, where he, he can't really afford to be to be just calling these raises by Usul. He's, 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 he's got to he's got to conserve them, doesn't he? Yeah, maybe he's going to see less flops now. Um, but you know, he's not in such bad shape. He's 110,000. There's, there's barely 10,000 between three of the, the, the bottom players. So uh, one double up and knocking someone else out, and um, you're not far behind the chip leader. Small blind, big blind, still three and six thousand. And the action will be on Andy Holiday. Doc Holiday. Pass. So Pass. Cool. Right here, Cole Cloth persisting. Nice. With just a limping in to Mark Goodwin's well. big blind. He just does it again and again. Yep, and he's just uh Checked his pair of sevens. Must have a lot of respect for each other. Flush draw. Wow. For a blondie. Mark's got to think he's winning here. There's 12,000 in the kitty. Plus. Six thousand. That's just a bet to see where he is. Cool. He knows Dave's got something of this. Yeah, no indication. Oh, the seven of clubs. I was just about to say, the seven of clubs comes down. Check. It makes a full house for Mark and a flush for flush for Dave. All the chips are going to go in the middle here, Jesse. Well, it's just, it's just pretty much the end, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I mean... It's <laughs> incredible. The I one mean, card Dave Colclough did not want to see. There's, there's one card in the deck 30, that can give Dave Colclough the flush and good with the full house. It's hit and... Uh, and it's hit. Well, it's... I mean, it's just over. I mean, isn't it? Is, is, is Kolkov going to go all in here? Because he'll get called quicker than he says all in. Before he said the word, yeah. Raised. Oh. 35,000 more, 65 total. 35 to call. I mean, it's, 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 it's almost, uh, it's painful. It's painful. One card in the yeah, deck, no. full house against the flush, and Colcloth now knows he's beat. He knows he's drawing he's dead. Can he get away from us, Jesse? I don't think he's can. I don't think he can. He's, he's committed to it, isn't he? He's absolutely drawing dead. The one card in the pack Please. he did not want to see. Dead and buried. Okay, 48. I don't think there's much between these guys. It's a question of, uh, is Dave Colclough all in, or did he have a few more chips to Mark Goodwin? I think the answer either way is that uh, Dave Colclough's disastrous run on TV of luck has uh, just hit a new dimension. Yeah, so unfortunate. You know, I think Dave, uh, Dave Colclough has just slightly few less chips than Mark, so. Oh no, he's got some back. He's got about 9,000 left. Well, there's one card to come, but it's immaterial. Cole Cloth is drawing dead, and I mean the way that happened, uh, Michael. There's just no way that Cole Cloth could get away from it, is there? No, not at all. I it wasn't what I thought you might have. Okay. Two queens. Queen is down. Two queens. Funny enough, if David had a queen in his hand, he would have taken the pot. I'm absolutely speechless. To be honest with you. When the seven came on the turn, it's like a cold deck. Full house for Mark Goodwin. Flush for Dave Colcloth, but the full house beats the flush. In the end, it was sevens full of queens. That's, that's such bad luck, though, isn't it? The one card in the whole pack that would have made Mark the full house and Dave the flush. Five and ten. Very, very unlucky, Dave. But Mark Goodwin up, and I mean, Colcloth, who has played uh, nothing short of a brilliant game here so far. Uh, is uh, left to just wonder, it, is he cursed? Well, he, he had that difficult decision to make earlier, didn't he? When he had ace-jack suited, and you still put him all in with king-jack. I think he was very, very close to calling him. <coughs> had he called him, things could have been completely different. But, you know, ifs and buts and wheres and whats. I think Cole Cloth has 10,000 left, and you imagine... Uh, he may just want to get it in with anything. Yeah. Maybe this is the time. I 
I mean, the, the perfect situation if he was if, if he was just heads up with someone who doesn't really want two other people in the pot because it gives him less chance of winning. And the oh. yeah, well, the decision here may be that uh, he can <coughs> he can triple up. Oh. And uh, he's getting some value on his money. Don't know. He's got two live cards. Cold cloth all in right now. And uh, you couldn't begrudge the man a break here. But uh, the poker gods have been known to be crueler than thou. He's and not in uh, such bad shape, though, is he? Was he uh, six to four, dog? Well, six to four may be the math, but I think it's uh, a thousand to one more apt. And... Uh, Hound dogs yapping at Dave Colclaw's tail right now. One card. It needs to be an eight or a nine. I don't know if there's any sense looking at it. Do well, it. there you go. <laughs> there you go. Stranger things have happened. Makes me about even on look, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're just too lucky today, you are <laughs> hmm. And uh, interestingly enough, that that till uh, 35,000. It's not a big stack, but it's the kind of stack that if a double, if Dave Colcloth doubles up from there, <laughs> then uh, mathematically he becomes a force. Golf next week. Don't tell me that all anyway. three players were hoping that Dave Colcloth was going to get knocked out, because he's such a dangerous player. They're now thinking that, well, he's not back in it, but they're thinking, God, what have we got to do to get rid of this guy? I was hoping I wasn't going to have to interview him. <laughs> <laughs> You know, inside you're thinking, you're hoping that Dave's going to get knocked out, but uh, he's still there, he's still there fighting. Six high, folded one. And uh, Mark Goodwin's been up, down, all around, and uh, he is looking right now like a main challenger to the Mad Turk, most ace definitely. jack of diamonds. Yeah, most more, definitely. Total. Fold. Very disciplined fold there from fold. Andy. Dave's now in the big blind. So he's got, uh, what is it? He's got, um, well, I have 25,000 back and 10,000 in. Blinds 5 and 10,000 now. So, uh, don't exactly know what the math is, but to me, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> the math is, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> Just shove the chips in. <laughs> it could be the operative expression right I think now. So. <laughs> well, if Dave doubles up to 70,000, then he's got to think he's back in it. Goodwin under the gun. Who wants to provide the executioner's blow oh. to Cole Cloth? I think Yusel's yeah. probably the man to do it. His head's on the chopping block, and Andy Holiday limping in, just calling. Dave would love to see a free flop here. Seemed to just be calling an all-in move. Oh, jeez. He's <laughs> <laughs> not, not going to get one. Jeez. I'll tell you what, the Mad Turk came here to win. He, Definitely. He, and uh, you can't feel pity on your opponents in poker. Nice, Useful, oh, just putting the pressure on, and uh, deuce three. Dave Kolkloss trying to work out if he's got pot odds here. <laughs> He'll know he's not ahead. <laughs> He'll know he's definitely not ahead. Jesus He'll probably know that he's got two live cards. But if he's up against a pair, then obviously he's in bad shape. Does he really want to stick it all in now? I mean, it, it comes also comes back to that what you said, which is Usul has turned over no oh. cards as of yet. Exactly. I mean, no one's to know. All in. Oh wow. Oh. Oh, wow! Well, that came out. That was a ball from the blue, wasn't it, Jesse? Well, it's lovely stuff. I mean, he sat there like a dormouse all night long. Unbelievable. And here comes Andy Holiday. Give this man a medal. I think Yusuf's got to call this because he's, I think he's uh, he's committed to it. I don't think there's that much more to put in. <laughs> Yusuf's <is> completely stunned. <laughs> well, <laughs> he's going to get found out now, isn't he? He might. Yeah. He's not. He's actually ahead, which is an incredible thing. Yeah, that's the thing. He's ahead. I mean, he'd bet a million dollars right now that he's not ahead. Yeah, he, he probably thinks he's losing. I'm not too sure how much he's got to put in, but he might be getting on to. I think the re-raise is about fifty thousand more. He's probably getting nearly three to one, as you say. Yep, he's getting three to one his money. But uh, yeah, the the big the big 
deterrent would be that he will be found out. I'm not even going to predict what he does here. How I mean, can you? well, it, does he think there might be a possibility he's up against aces or kings? Um, or do yeah. you think it's more likely it's ace king or something? Andy, Andy Holiday hasn't shown too many cards either. Exactly. Oh. He's, he's got a thing. He's, oh, he's called him. Wow. He's called him. Well, gutsy call. Gutsy call. He's getting the odds. He's getting good I'll odds. I'll tell you what. I mean, Andy Holiday Ooh. deserves to win this pot. He's made he, he made the play of his lifetime. He did. He's out. He's going out like a lion. <laughs> <laughs> and Colclaw says, give me my cards back. I'll play with a deuce three from here. <laughs> it's Andy Holiday all either. in. Well, and if, uh, in case you thought you were, yeah? Well, uh, I thought you got 50-50. You've probably got a small pair or, <laughs> or one, so I've got live cards. Mad Turk saying he put Holiday on the Jack-10. Oh, it's a Jack! Something for everybody. And mm -hmm. five or a Queen. There's a five or a Queen useful to get this back. <clears throat> Two cards to cup. Oh, oh he's oh. the trips. He has. It just seems to be the Mad Turk's day. He made a courageous That's call tough. there. And, uh, Only a Jack can save Andrew now. Oh, Holiday deserves it. Only a Jack can save him now. Now it's, it's all over. Wow. Cheers. Very, very unlucky. Well, I'll tell you what. You have to tip your hat to this man. He made Usul make a very tough call. And the Jack looked like just desserts. But the five on the turn, three fives. The Mad Turk making a potato sandwich. The tumble dryer goes faster and faster, and nothing separates these three. Someone will fall off the merry-go-round. Join us after the break. Three hours of silence. Question is, one mistake, and El Blondie will be out. King, is it enough? No. I'm thinking of four to wait. It's not enough. I've got enough chips to play poker now, I can pass. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> right, Don't need to are. panic, Dave. Oh. It's going to be good if you two got it all in. I could be handled. <laughs> <laughs> and he would have gotten called there. Uh, he he would have definitely got called. Definitely he would have got called. He would have been in terrible shape. Well, the Mad Turk checking the King situation. 9. They've Oh, they've both got something here. Wow. He's got a second that flush draw. Mark's got top pair. Could be fireworks. Revised up to 20,000. It's going to take you, you boys about a year to get this all in at this rate. <laughs> Mad Turk looking for the diamond, and that might slow Goodwin down. Check. He doesn't love his hand, does he? Check. No. Four of diamonds would not be good. Oh, it was the four of hearts. Big card for Mark Goodwin. Yeah. He's not going to get paid here. No. Falling. Falling. Oh. <laughs> did, he's, did I hear right that Mark's just bet 30,000, <laughs> and Usul has gone all in? Oh, dearie me. Do you know what, Dave? I think your wish might just be coming I true. think Mark's going to call him, eh? <laughs> if Mark calls this, it would be a I mean, great call. I, I, you know, the Mad Turk may have reasoned that Goodwin did not have a very big mm. queen, but little did he know that the four was the kicker. Exactly. Maybe he could put... What to the guy? Yep, great call, Mark. He has called! Great, great call, okay. Mark. And the Mad Turk... The Mad Turk has made another great move, but for the first time tonight, his timing all wrong. All wrong. That's a great call, Mark. He's read that perfectly. Well, Maybe he put Usul on a flush draw and he's missed. So he was over bet the pot. It was a very weak bet going all in. Mark Goodwin, he's got nearly three quarters of the chips in play. The balls are like this. Huge. <laughs> Huge. There's one too many all in from you, Silver. There's just no, one too many. He would have passed, yeah. Because right. I'll maybe better. I'll tell you, when you try and walk the, the line, line, get yourself in some funny Doesn't situations. Hmm. And now, uh, the two short stacks. <laughs> With no raise? Take it out of me. <laughs> well, Cole Claw. You're sneaky with me. By all right, sh should be happy for the free flop. Is he thinking about a raise here? <laughs> yeah. 
It's 20,000, and they're significant for both these players. Yeah, exactly. King four versus nine five. Ooh, King high, good. Check. Haven't got a three. Maybe we will always got a three. Check. No one got ice king. And uh, Dave does very well with the snazzy talk. Check. He's going to check it down to the end and just hopes he hits a five or a nine. Check. He knows he's losing at this point. Hey, there you go. <laughs> he's hit his nine. Check. Little bet here maybe from Dave. 10,000, maybe. 10,000. <laughs> that's a value bet. Yeah, that's a value bet, isn't it? Cool. Yeah, and he gets a call. It's great. That's all he needed, 10,000. 10,000, almost like bedroom whispers on the river. Yeah. And Cole Cloth has just turned... Uh, God, he's, 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 turning a, he's turning a toothpick into a whole forest here. And I'll bet inside, I bet you any money, Mark is hoping he'd go heads up with Usul and not Dave. Down to 10,000, up to 85. I bet Jesse May's already Cold Cloth is not even the shortest story. stack anymore. Yeah, right? Jesse May will have done the Jack Strauss story about two hands. And uh, the Mad Turk. He's probably still thinking of that hand. He's got about it. the same, and he looks like he's lost his whole stack. That's right. All right. All right. <laughs> Steady. It's ten to play. Yeah. Sorry. Thirty. Thirty total. Okay. Oh, it's gone an all in, King Jack. We'll finish it here and now, Mark. Yes. Oh, take us and an all in from Dave. Shot. Oh my gosh! Oh, well, this could all be over. This could all be over if Mark calls both of their bets and hits his ace. This is all over. Raise, re-raise over oh, the top, all in. Where did you get them from? Don't know. And like you say. If Goodwin knew he had the only ace, he'd definitely call, wouldn't definitely. he? Definitely. Definitely. <clears throat> I think he may call anyway. I think he might. He might want to finish this here and now. I do. So, that would put in the worst scenario. I mean, he's getting quite good value for his money. That would put wow, Colcloth made that decision instantly. Oh. Yeah. I mean, goodness me. Oh, he he's got 80,000 to put in the pot, and there's 180,000 there. Oh, oh. you're right. <laughs> Just for the fun. But as it is, Cold Cloth will have about 15,000 back. He's all in. So it's all a change, I guess. The Turks get two over cards. And, uh. No. Not unless you promise to put a seven on the floor. Cold Cloth playing the hand that beat him before. King Jack versus the two sevens. The Mad Turk all in. Needing to hit a king or jack to survive. Dave saying, please, just put a seven down just to make sure. Oh, there's, there's the king. The king. Cool. Maybe run around a straight. Possibilities. Mad Turk's about to be back in this. Four, seven, eight. No. Nope. Only, only two cards and the whole pack can save him now. Nope. He has not hit. El Blondie back to square one. That was actually a good fold by Mark in the end. And the Mad Turk is back in business. Well, that's a hell of a pie, that. All that orange is uh, Mark Goodwin, 415,000. A slight smidgen of green from Dave Colclough. Got a feeling this could be his last hand. He needs a bit of a miracle. And uh, Yusuf, Yusuf Lemon Logley, he's back in it. I think, isn't it a compulsory all in now from Dave, isn't it? Is it the, what we call a Kalakis? <laughs> well, it does appear that Dave Kolkov has more money in the big blind than yep. he does back. Exactly. It's uh, three not, fifths of his chips. I don't think he's even looked at his cards, Dave, because he knows he's just going to stick them in. Cool. <laughs> Mark Gowen has just called. Oh, he's yes. just, and of course, I think it's called putting the squeeze on. Of course, on. you know, two against one is. Uh, well, he's got two live cards. That's the best he can do. I mean, it's just talk about pain. They're actually, you could see a situation where Kolkov has to fold and leave himself with ten thousand. But uh, here's the flop. He's got two live cards. Oh well. He's actually got the best hand. <laughs> Stick him in, Dave. <laughs> He's going to get paid out as well. Called in one spot. Oh, yeah. No, instead of you. Oh, no. And uh, Cold Cloth in a spot here where if a queen or jack doesn't hit, he'll have more than doubled up. 
But uh, six okay, live cool. cards for Mark Goodwin. Oh, no. Ten, it will be. Ten king. It's gonna be. I'd love to see a nine. Ten king. Yeah, it'll just it'll to make king. sure. It'll be a jack and just put that in his room. Really easy way. Oh no. Oh no. Hope's down there. Deuce is a live card. Three queens, three jacks are standing between Cold Cloth and this pot. Here's the river. He survives. Incredible. Oh, this really is the slowest death ever. <laughs> This is like being hung, drawn, and quartered slowly. I think he's true. <laughs> Your feet. <laughs> Difficult to scrape off. Yeah, that's what I think. Dave from the button. He's got enough to put a serious decision. Yeah. Oh, that's the decision. And quick call from oh, Goodwin, who's oh. dominated here. I hope you totally dominated. And uh, I think we've got a hint about why Goodwin does not like nice to play the king queen. Yeah. <laughs> First time he does play it, he's First in terrible time. trouble. Exactly. Three cards in the deck to help uh, to help Mark here. Well, this is now I think the third or fourth time Cold Cloth all in with. Uh, Cards on their backs. Now, you know what? He's going to be in great <laughs> shape if he wins this, Dave. 130,000 chips. Goodwin <laughs> says, should I apologize now? Hand, yeah. Please. Anything but a king. Come and uh, Dave walk. Colcloth, like you say, he's going to be in great shape. There's the ace. Oh, oh, and the king as well. Oh. Wow. Surely it can't be two kings. Running diamonds? Nothing. Ace is ahead. Jack of diamonds. A maximum sweat card next. Jack of diamonds. Ten of diamonds is the same thing. <laughs> I'll tell you what, these guys are used to pain. It's, uh, it's all part of the life. But uh, if there's any lining left on Dave Colcloth's stomach, it must be because of the Maylocks alone. Anything but a king? Thank God he didn't wow, come around. he's doubled up. He's in pretty good shape now. He may be bottom of the pile, but he's got 131,000. <laughs> you want to swap? I'll take the one, you can take the five. Where else could you have this much fun for five thousand dollars? I complain about my luck again. Cloth is cutting his here we go. His ride for the money. Having a little stacking competition. It's getting close here. It's getting very close. It's getting to a stage where the three of them have equal chips. It's very difficult to put uh, put your hand on a winner here. Do some work. You sat there with us. Hey. No. <laughs> I just thought you might have to do some work occasionally. You sat there with your feet up and... Pass. Again he's called. There it is. And again, Mark Goodwin... Are you comfortable? ...has checked. It must be starting to eat it. Mark Goodwin's brain. Oh, that's a lovely flop for Dave. Up and down, straight draw. Okay. Here's Mark's had enough. 30,000. I think Dave's going to call this. Might go all in. He might even go all in, yep. All in. No, you Dave's called it, Jesse. All in. Wow. Pass. Great bet, Dave. And uh, it's almost as if. Sorry? No, sure. Mark Goodwin himself said oh, it was time for him to win a pot. Yeah. yeah. But, uh. Colcloth picked up on that desperation like uh, like it was a smoke alarm. Exactly. He knows where he was at, I should think. Well, that... I think Dave and Mark are near enough quite equal, aren't they, soon? I mean, you, you can't blame Mark Goodwin. Uh, he's, he's stuck here in the middle. I mean, he's stuck here in the middle of, uh, of two of the most aggressive players that have ever come down the pipe. And look at this. If that wasn't bad mind. enough, the Mad Turk has put on his sunglasses. <laughs> well, this means business. <laughs> Beware, lads. Beware. Up, oh, just at the right time when he was on the slide, Mark's picked up a nice hand. Yeah, the cavalry's come. He's looking for a raise from the Turk, but it's not going to come from these two cards. Or is it? No. No raise. He saw sense. Place very close to the edge, this man turned. <laughs> I thought he was going all in, I swear. 30,000 in there, and Goodwin trying to trap with the ace king now is out flopped. Check. 15,000. 15,000. Is that enough to get Mark away from this? I'm not too sure. I don't think it is, no? Call. 
Goodwin has gone from trapping to chasing. This is a dastardly hand. He needs the Acer King. Still Check. no help. Check. Check. Bed And uh, Emiglo has gotten uh, suspicious all of a sudden. Though the Ace is leading. Check. It's going to be checked down, I think. Three. There are threes. Here we go. <clears throat> that just goes to show Ace King against 3 6. It's not such a bad hand to be up against, is it? Well, when it rains, it pours. And Mark Goodwin's countenance tells it all. The reds are gone. The blues are all that are in play right now. He just cannot seem to get anything going. No, he's not hitting flops. He's not getting great cards. Goodwin on the button. 20 to call. And uh, it's become all in or fold. Yeah, it's got to that stage now. <laughs> oh. all, all in for decision. I think he's going to get a call here from Dave. What's Cold Cloth got? Oh. Yep. He's got, got him cool. locked. He's got him locked up. Yep, he's got him well and truly locked up. And all of a sudden, the Mad Turk dominated and needing an eight. He knows the story. His cards are not live. His days are numbered, I feel. He's got three outs. It's been done before, obviously. Colcloth betting about half his chips here. If he wins, it'll be very dominating. Just wants to see an ace, Dave, just to make sure. Eight! Oh, he's hit the eight. It's incredible, isn't it? How many times has this happened? And that has put Colcloth in a tight spot now. He needs the ace and drawn to three cards or running clubs. So all... Oh, oh geez. That... Oh, here we go. Well, that's an interesting card. Very it's actually been card. a good card for Cold Cloth because it's oh. given him the club outs. Mm -hmm. Ace or club. Eight of clubs would be really cruel, wouldn't it? Oh, and as he says, the eight of clubs <laughs> wouldn't help. Any club but an eight. That would have give useful a full house. I'm not thinking it's there. There's the river. Nope. And two pair holding up. Three to one shot. Useful's face when he saw Dave's hand. He saw that he was out kicked. Well, he knew he was in desperate trouble, but three cards in the whole of the pack. <laughs> it's, it's hard to believe how, how painful a game this poker can be. If I can play a uh, how normal Mad Turk play in local casino, that's my game plan, which is take as much as chips from anybody. Anytime, just be aggressive. That's my game plan. If I can do that, I'm sure I'll win. Weebles wobble, but no one's fallen down as of yet. <clears throat> Good win. Hold. Who, uh, I'm he's had some Hold resurgence, in. and that's an ace deuce moving all in. Different story, Morning Glory. Ooh, Colquhoun with a bigger ace. Wow. If he calls Dave and he loses, he's out. But if he calls, he's going to be in tremendous shape, as he was before, but he lost it before. I mean, m nine times out of ten, Jesse, this will go to a split pot. But uh, you never know. Okay, Colt. Call. He's called. Call. Wow, it sure call. is. Have your hands there, and uh, he is in a dominating Ooh. position again. And as you said, there are a lot of split pots out there. Yeah. More often they're not, they're not. But Cold Cloth is all in. And he is trying to bar the duck, the deuce. You don't want to be sitting next to The little ball. lily from the board. Three high cards. and Well, the six still plays. It does. It looks good to me. Higher. Five would be a nice card. Mm. <laughs> or a three. Or a three. Or a six. It, it just looking, it's looking like a split pot. Higher says the Mad Turk. the five. Ooh. No split pots now. No, no split, split pots, as Dave pot. said, no. he needs a deuce. Three. Unless the board oh Christ, pairs. If it comes a four or five, it's a split pot. 
<laughs> I haven't seen the three. A three or a two. Oh, it's with... got to be a split pod, no? Oh, no, there's there's no, a couple not, possibilities out there. I mean, it's definitely not a split Can't be a split pod. The six! Ooh, the six Cole Cole doubles up! It couldn't be. It couldn't Cole be a split up. Why not? Because the six is going count. As soon as the five and four... Oh, so don't, please don't destroy my hand before you give me the chips. <laughs> it no, really worries me. Look at the chip pie, Michael. Shows Amina Glue down to 60,000. But uh, the way he wields his weapons uh, could very quickly be a double up. Two, five pair. If three comes, I'll win. Two comes, I'll win. Four, five comes, split up. Bigger than that is... You, you, you got me no, thinking. Seven, Actually, as we were saying it, I was thinking, I'm sure it can be. Seven, eight, ten, queen, king. There's oh, no split right, Okay, let's give you a chance, mate. Oh, no. You two play heads up. Well, interestingly enough, I'm happy with what I've done. Well, well, I'm not too sure about your verbal, eh? Oh, what I've done so far, I'm happy with that. What? I had a pleasure playing with you all day. He is a classy guy, guy this you know, <laughs> He well, wants this to get called here, doesn't call. he? Now you're turning <laughs> it into like a. <laughs> okay, cool. Let's, let's not book around. <laughs> 40, ah. 60. Well, good one's still to act. It's only 40,000 on really here. Well, you. Mark might want a piece of this as well. You're not allowed to do that, actually. Am I? I'm sorry, then. The so, one thing you can't do is encourage the opposition. OK, then. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it to say it like that. The, the, the Mad Turk's ahead. He's not in a terrible spot here. I do desperately want to call, but if you do end up winning it, put your right back in it. I'm going to pass. Fold. Mark Goodwin folding two live cards. It's King Jack against Queen Ten. Queen Ten. Wow. You sells yeah, you do, you? Ace High Although and uh, this pot 140,000. Are we seeing the end of the Mad Turk, or has he got another life in him? Anything but a King or Jack. That's There's a no great face cards. flop. It's a great flop. He's hanging on in there. Doesn't want to see another club. <laughs> yeah, the ace would finish it off here, <laughs> unless it's the ace of clubs. Oh. Ooh. That's given Dave <laughs> a lot kinds of possibilities. Tens, kings, or clubs or for Dave to take this. Or a king or a jack. Or, or a jack. He's got enough cards. <laughs> How can I miss this cold club? Amina Glue is leading with the ace high. No, nope, and he wins. Ooh. Red six on the wow. river. That Ooh. time, a good card for the mad turn. This and, uh, well, it, <laughs> he's finally been made to sweat like the rest oh. have sweated. It was a very lively, chatty, and funny table. Oh, so many hands ago. Mm. Nice. nice. But uh, now it's become Hundred. serious. Uh, I'm holding. Well, but <coughs> he's definitely committed here. Oh, he's in bad shape, Mark. He is. He is, and... Uh, as you said, the hundred that he's put in right now. I mean, uh, Usul does not have that much more. Cole, Cole Cloth, what, he, what is he thinking about? Six, eight of diamonds. <laughs> he doesn't even have two live cards. Oh. You can't pass now, can you? One of Mark's outs was passed by Dave. There's only two cards in the pack that can save him unless he gets some hearts. But Mad Turk about to go from short stack to chip leader, unless, as you say, one of the two sixes pop. The running hearts seems to be the order of the day. And there's no hearts. That was one heart there. <laughs> <Dave Cole -Cloth. laughs> that is the primal scream. Oh. <laughs> Not with a bang, but a whimper. Oh, he would have had trip eights. This could be a split pot here, Jesse. I still don't know how he was thinking about it, but he, he was. Oh! Now he's got a flush draw for Mark. Yeah, could be nice. Any hard will take the Mad Turk out. A three or a king would be a split pot. Or an eight. Come nope. Yes. Can you believe Two that? eights. Ace, yes. king, nine. Jesus. Whew. That gave me a heart attack. Uh, how how many pots have we seen decided on the river? Mm, incredible. Someone is upset. Have you lost the pot? <coughs> I lost that one. Hey, they eat. Hold on to your hearts. Goodwin looking for that ace. We've seen him fold that before, but 
Pass. It's it seems almost. like a big hand. Raise yeah. all in. Seven high. He's on the move. The Mad Four. Turk is on the edge, and Kolkov called. He must have something. What is it? Well, it beats seven high, I'd imagine. Two eights. Oh. Wow. This is the best shape my Dave's been in a while. That's the wrong time yeah. for Yusuf yeah. to make his move. My favorite hand. <laughs> I know, he's <laughs> in my three times. And uh, I don't I know what the percentages are, but Colcloth is in... Is in I don't, I don't want to he's in great shape, but I don't want to put the knackers on it. I'm not going to say a word. He's better than even money. And uh, I think... 6-6-8's six, six, fine. If he wins this pot, he may be chip leader. And uh, he's put a good start to it. Yep. Definitely don't want to win an 8 now. <laughs> As he says, an 8 would be one of the worst cards he, he would see. It would... It would give eight outs. To a oh, it's all over. Oh, it's double three, it's through, Dave. Even a I'm nine, a which actually, would counterfeit his pair, would yeah. still be a winner. That's right. But, uh, I think in a nine is a split pot. 132. Close only good in horseshoes and battle axes. <clears throat> and uh, Colcloth, the new chip leader. My name's Dave Colcliffe. Um, for some reason they call me El Blondi. I'm currently ranked number one on the European rankings, but with a dreadful TV record. I can't have any bad luck again, so hopefully with a little bit of luck, um, we'll go out and win it tonight. All of a sudden now, the, the aggression is coming nakedly out from a cold cloth. Yeah. Pass. All, that. Oh, cool. All in. Call. All in and call. All in and call. Is this the end for Mark Goodwin? Might be one of these, huh? says good luck to both of you. He is the only one who cannot get knocked out here. He's not in great shape. Queen four of clubs against pocket Two eights. Oh, he's in trouble. Two he's in big trouble. Is this is the most serious situation What's Mark Goodwin has been, been in. Today, very little chance. Let's we'll see a few clubs or you queen. Know, I'd, I'd and he's the one all in. Two to one dog <laughs> on partypoker.com. Dog? Well, there you go. Uh -huh. Not okay. anymore. I think Mark I'm needs run around a straight. Come ten jacket. Three snowmen ten for ten. the Mad Turk. If he doesn't hit ten or a jack, it's all over. No, nope, it's all over. It's all over. I'm lucky. I'll have a game, though. All like over on the turn, the last card in material, and uh, I'll tell you what, Mark Goodwin can hold his head up high, there's no shame here. Pocket pair, one over card, but the eight straight in center. Three snowmen put the freeze on Mark Goodwin, and uh, this battle is head up. Well, Mark, I, I know th third place must be a bit disappointing, but I mean, that has to be some of the best poker that's ever been seen on TV. What a battle three-way. Yeah, that was a uh, pleasure to be part of. Uh, two great lads, known both very well. Um, it hurts losing, but by the same time, you know, it, it's good for poker. So I did enjoy it. The Mad Turk, Dave Colcloth, has come down to two, and it's beyond luck, it's beyond skill. It's a test of wills. They've bared it all, they've grunted. Who will win? Every grain of sand on the beach. That's what it takes to win this heat. Dave Colcloth, El Blondi, up against the Mad Turk, Yusil Aminoglu. Two boys from the Midlands, two poker players, two Good poker luck, champions, Michael Greco. I don't think it's gonna last long, Summer. <laughs> yeah, I think Dave's right. I don't think this is gonna last very long. I think okay, you're gonna see an all in and a call. Pretty early, I've got a feeling. And looking at the head-to-head -head statistics, <laughs> I mean, with those statistics, 38 hands won, 40 hands won, it's almost like it's been no one but these two for the entire heat, and it seems like that, just about. Look at that, lowest chip count, Dave Kolkoff, 10,000. <laughs> Down, but not out. Mark Goodwin, somewhere, spurring these two on. He was a part of this for oh so long, and like you say, there's, there's just no way either one of these can the guys can back down. It, no. It's going to be bash and back them. That's right. And uh, do you think it's just going to go to whoever gets the first Pass. ace? Well, I, I don't know um, the experience of, uh, obviously Dave's got vast experience for heads-up competitions, but 
I don't know what you say will be like, heads up. Uh, I, I can see pretty sure he's going to be quite aggressive. I, I mean, they've, say that. They, they've both had different roads to get here, but it's, it's two tremendous styles of poker. Yeah. Uh, Cole Cloth, maybe the great decision maker, and and you saw that great timing and uh, with the ability to just pull anything out of the bag. Yeah, Dave paid uh, you saw a great compliment a couple of minutes ago. He said that he's got the uh, the game to go on and win this if he uh, if he wins the seat. And uh, are there any real good hands and bad hands head up, or is it is it trying to play the other player? I think it's playing the player, Jesse. Oh. I like to ra raise and re-raise pre-flops. I don't like to just call everything. And as it works out, the eight high, just a monster right now. You saw six deuce, but uh, flop to come, and uh, the six deuce is a straight draw. The four of diamonds on the turn would be uh, very interesting. Check, both checked. Check, check. Dave's eyes darting back and forth. That seven has made him second pair. Little does Yusel know. Two. 30,000. And this is another big decision for Cole Cloth. Mm. It's a good bet for Yusel. Raised all in. <laughs> it didn't slow him down at all. No. He gives no credit for the queen. <coughs> well, he figures mm. he didn't have a queen because he didn't bet the flop. And Dave's right once again. He knows he's ahead. It's just, yeah, I'm just wondering whether um, you still an experience of heads up will come into play here because uh, whether or not he's going to um, be used to this kind of aggressive play from Dave. Well, if there is any advantage, all of a sudden it is the fact that Cole Cloth has opened up a chip lead by virtue of that pot that is not far from two to one. If he plays an all-in coup and loses here, he'll still have about a hundred and seventy thousand, hundred and sixty eight thousand, which is uh like we say a free shot. He's got two bullets in the gun and That's right. the Mad Turk has one. Of course, uh <coughs> somehow you have to feel that, that one bullet is plenty for the Mad Turk. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> a silver bullet at that. Holy. Is he a werewolf in disguise? Jeez! Cold cloth with the seven! Pass. Oh, that was a that was a huge that was a huge huge move. I'm going to be very 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 surprised if Coldcraft does not win from here. He's just got different gears, isn't he? Don't you think? It it it, it seems like you know he. I'm surprised we lasted this long actually. <laughs> he makes less moves out of the box, but when he does, he's almost never caught. It's so unexpected. He's, yeah. he's uh he's just running off a different riff, a different melody. Well, any weakness that he senses, then he's just like a vulture, and he's down on his prey like a oh. swooping down on them. Oh, and and now it's 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 just bash bash bash. Cold cloth is not gonna let. <clears throat> <clears throat> the Mad Turk get back in this without yeah. having to turn cards over on the back. That's right, he, he, he wants this over, cards, doesn't he? He wants to win this sooner rather than later. Kind of a good cards every hand. Ooh. Well, well not every time, but this time well. we did. <laughs> I mean, I think Cold Cloth knows that, uh, uh, no you know, the, the one thing though. he doesn't want to do is, is, fold, is, is, is fold his way back into even money. He says if, if he's going to lose a hand and let the, let the Mad Turk get back in it, it's, uh, it's going to have to be with five on their back, yep. which, uh, as Dave Colclough know, very well knows, the uh, the favorite is not always the winner at the end of that. I mean, both of these guys have come from behind when all in to win. I think the only way Yusuf can win this really is uh, by, by doing this move. Oh, he's called. Called blind? I'm not here. Seven. Call Me neither, well, looks like Oh, two seven. Oh, Ooh. he's called blind. <laughs> Did you see it? That no, no, is incredible. <laughs> Cold blind. Yeah, it's, it's what he, <laughs> he just wanted it over with, didn't he? he? I told you, he wanted this as quickly over as possible. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. He's picked up an absolutely humongous hand. I mean, it's, up. it's not like the Mad Turk had no chips. The raise was about 120,000. And uh, a queen. Well, this could be the beginning of the end for the Mad Turk. He's got two cards to catch a lady. Queen has been his lucky card tonight. Turner River. 
Every time he had a queen in his hand, he went all in. Could this be one all in too many? He needs a queen, Jesse. There's three cards in the whole pack that can save him. If he does not hit his queen, this marathon is well and truly over. No, nope, it's over. Colclough has done it! Colclough <laughs> 10,000! My lord! What a comeback. What an absolute comeback. <laughs> I don't think I can walk at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, it's all there on wow. Dave Colclough's face. Talk about earning your dollar for the day. Yeah. And what a worthy opponent he had. Yeah. In Usul, Aminoglu, who his first time on TV wow. has just been superb. The last hand, call blind? Yeah. Still wondering about that. But the seven's always good and jacks up, winning this marathon heat. What a poker game. Uh, Dave, uh, have you ever considered a less stressful line of work? Uh, wow. Acrobat or something? Uh... <laughs> well, 20 years of poker, and I don't think I've ever been through anything like that. That was, I can't. <laughs> I'm just speechless. It was like, and I, I mean, there was some great poker there. I mean, I, I, I really thought you had my number. I thought, like, no, no chance. There's no separating. It, just like, it was an end. astonishing match all the way through. It was just, you know, I thought Mark was going to win it for a long spell, and wow, <laughs> I am speechless. I mean, it was just astonishing to play in. It really was. Yeah. Usually, I just want to say commiserations, but you know, a, a compliment is that he played amazing poker and and you're, you're a worthy runner-up and you've got the talent to go on and win more competitions. Well, I hope so because uh, I thought I played very well, maybe all night. You know, I made one mis mistake. Apart from that, I played well and towards the end, I didn't get any calls. And I played against the best in the world. Exactly. It's a pleasure to hear from him to say that I played well. You know, it's good enough for me. You know, I hope I'll do better next time, but I'm happy with that, you know. I'm disappointed not to win it because I'm coming that far. I just, you know, didn't win it, you know, which is but I'm happy. Happy to play with him, you know, and then, yeah, yeah. you know. <laughs> This is what poker's all about. Dave Colcloth going forward to the semifinals, but two champions on the couch in the end. Join us next time on the PartyPoker.net European Open. And uh, if you don't like this game, well, <laughs> you don't like poker.